they're busy yeah. dealing with like not being able to sell the stuff that they have and they're busy they with not being it. able to launch the stuff that they have and yeah. figuring out what the hell they're gonna do with that and then yeah. they're figuring out like what do we do now one there's not a lot of people buying land bottom line there is not no, i have some land for sale dummies. right now and the amount of people who are inquiring who have money is close to zero most of the people who are inquiring who call me they're literally saying well i don't really have any money to buy it so i wanted to talk to the seller about seller financing and da -da 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 -da. i need to so one guy was selling a classic car collection this week another guy was you know i don't know where he was getting his money from but he didn't have it yet and it was like 20 grand it was like the the, the people who have money they're not buying land right now they're not unless they're it's a great deal waiting. like they're exactly but they are waiting for the right opportunities to come across their desk and then they'll buy but they yeah. see what's coming they see what's in the atmosphere there's a lot of pain. They're talking to a lot of people and nobody wants to be the idiot to buy when nobody else is buying. No, that's true. Listen they were all willing to buy when the prices were going up, which was the wrong time to buy. But they're very right. busy. They're busy. They're busy yeah. dealing with like not being able to sell the stuff that they have. And they're <laughs> busy they with not being it. able to launch the stuff that they have and yeah. figuring out what the hell they're going to do with that. And then yeah. they're figuring out like, what, what do we do now? Yeah. Right. What, what do we do with all these people now? Yeah. And then when do we start cutting, I guess, is really what the higher ups must be thinking, because th there was another article that came out that said uh, Tridel tops off uh, some building and the cranes coming down. And I posted on Twitter, the cranes coming down and it's not going back up anywhere else. And all those people that were working on that project at the end of the project they're not finding jobs in construction again right and it's like that's just gonna keep on it's they won't find jobs in construction again it's just no for they're a not while. gonna they're not gonna be able to go to the same job at time. another building on another site yeah there's no other they're building. gonna go into where are they going well, there's there's other projects underway i mean there's gonna be a a, a commercial project or an industrial or something like that happening somewhere else at some point not enough we still have a lot guys. of still have a lot of people who are who are building and that people need labor but just that exact residential um tower that they were working on those type of those type of deals yeah they're going to start drying up they're right? drying up and they're not starting again like we talked about before like the glut is started from the lack of starts so we haven't even seen the lack of starts really we just mm -hmm. see the lack of launches soon we'll see the lack of starts mm -hmm. right and i don't know what that looks like i don't know what the inventory situation looks like but remember that guy ivan we had on the show who did the charts yeah. he yeah. just put up a chart and yeah. the title of it was are we at the top of the inventory in toronto and he shows month over month inventory in toronto coming down now mind you well actually that's end of month stats from from july yeah right because He's some up people to aren't the selling second that dude people aren't selling so they're taking it off the market but um Look, uh, you know, at the end of the day, everything has to do with uh, the perception that the buyers have. If the buyers think it's a good time to buy, they're going to all buy at the same time. They're going to push push prices up. Nobody feels like it's a good time to buy. Nobody right now is saying, now is the opportunity for me to get it. And I can honestly say that a lot of them are right, but some of them are wrong. Some okay? of them are wrong. And I'll tell you why. If you're you know, a speculator or if you're thinking about, you know, getting into the market as an investment so that you can have a bunch of appreciation and everything like that, you should be in no hurry to buy. No. You know, there's maybe even a chance that prices go down further and you're going to be able to buy cheaper later on. No guarantees on anything. But the people who do need to buy are the people who are like, I'm ready to get my first home. I'm ready to, uh, you know, upgrade. I'm ready to, you know, buy something that that's got a lot of utility for me. And they're a little bit paralyzed because they think that the market's going to go down further and all that kind of stuff. And in the grand scheme of things, that, you know, five, ten, twenty year home that you're about to buy and live in, whether it goes up or down a, a few times between now and the time that you sell it, and twenty years from now, you're not going to be affected by that. You know, how and many so those people? people? Those people will continue to buy. Well, how many people want to commit to like even five years in one of these shitty condos that's floating around? So like if you are yeah. a if you are a condo buyer, right? And you're yeah. trying to get in the market and the only thing you can afford is one of these things. And now is your opportunity, maybe, or maybe now is even a 
not the right time? Will it be cheap? I guess it'll be cheaper in a few months, we're thinking. Because there's more condos? coming on the market, more every completion. Yeah, well, go, what an opportunity to buy condos right now. Go make those offers. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, but do you really want to live there for five years? Like, I mean, the minute you buy a book, you're going to be bursting at the seams. If you, I saw, I sold newspaper. a newspaper. It's funny. I talked to, I listed a house today and her, their daughter bought off me a couple of years ago. Right. Like maybe like after the things, maybe. I don't know if it was at the end of 2022. It wasn't peak pricing. Like, you know, it was either down or it was like beginning of 2021 or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't near the end of 21, beginning of 22. It was, it was either on either side of it. But it was like a bachelor, 480 square feet, um, St. Lawrence Market. Nice unit. How many square feet? 400 and I don't know, something. Whoa. Under 500, right? Whoa. No, it was perfect for her. That's and huge. So she, she bought it and um lived in it and her plan was to live there and say you know i've got this my own spot pay down my mortgage i got a good job i can afford it yada 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 long story short is another job came up in the states so she's moving to the us oh yeah so they said tiki what do we do should we sell should we rent what do we do and so i looked up the value of the condo it's worth the same that she paid so it didn't go down cuz like yeah. i said it wasn't peak pricing but it has not moved and I said, oh, guys, what are you going to do? You're going to you're going to sell and you're going to lose money. You got all these fees and taxes and everything else to get in and get out. Don't sell. Rent it out. So my partner's helping them rent it out and they're going to uh, just keep it. And she's going to be negative cash flow and uh, move on with life. Like, comment and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.